you know, if you are using Ableton Live for the first time, if you ever need to know what things uh, mean, there's this thing called the info view. See info view? It shows you wherever you mouse over something, it tells you what you're mousing over. It changes, it's dynamic. If you ever lose it, you go to view info. That's easy enough. And it shows you the info view. Okay, that's simple. Preferences. If you go to options and settings, options and settings, it will show you these preferences. In these preferences, you can set things like your display. Right now, my display is zoomed in at 150% so that those of you at the back can still see. Or if you have a very, very high resolution screen, you might want to make it more. Or if you are a very, very good eyesight, you can just go on to 100. And then you can see so many things on the screen at one time. See, 100. You can see lots and lots of tracks, lots and lots of instruments. But not very useful for teaching. For teaching, I make it 150. You can also change the themes and colors. Mine is in the default. You can do fancy things like go to an angsty robot color. Yeah, I won't take you through all this because you can try on your own. Last week, you went to the audio tab and the audio tab actually teaches you how, shows you how you can set your different audio interface settings. You usually leave this as it is unless you can't hear anything. If you can't hear anything and you raise your hand, we'll probably come and help you by going into this tab. The other parts are not really useful to you now. So I'm going to close it. The next thing is selector buttons. Every time you see a triangle, the triangle means you can open up stuff. So for example, here, I've got a folder here. Click As I click on it, oh look, another triangle came up. Oh look, another triangle came up. Oh look, another triangle. So basically, who made so many subfolders? Ah, finally, I found the actual wave files. Right. By the way, this side of the screen is called a browser. If I ever say, hey, please look to your browser, your browser is this part on the left. I'm not talking about going into Safari or going into Chrome or, you know, this is your Ableton browser. And you can resize the windows. Woo woo, yay. Okay. In the browser, you will see certain things. I'm also keeping this part by part. Like there's a lot to see. I'm only showing you the parts which are relevant to you for this week. Then next week, you see more things. And then week after, you see more things. And basically for the next three or four years that you're here. Or if you're doing PhD, you've got seven years. Yeah. So, like, don't worry, there's no end one. Yeah. Like, Iron, Iron joined us like six years ago. It still isn't there. This, if you start here, the library here, there are sounds. When you click on sounds, you will find these are the different kinds of instruments you can find in Ableton Live. And they have these category filters at the top. When you see the category filters, let's say I want to hear a guitar and pluck. I, hear, I just click on guitar and pluck. Now, it's filtered so that only the guitar pluck sounds are there. How do I know? If I click on any of these names and the little headphone, the blue headphone is on, the blue headphone must be on so I can preview, I will hear the sound. If I want to stop, I just click somewhere else. Okay. So that was zooming in on all the guitar sounds. And I can click two levels. I can click guitar. I say guitar, I want only acoustic guitars. So it takes away all the electric guitars. It just gives me acoustic guitars. This is sounds. Drums is for drum instruments where sometimes I will tell you now that I have may have more tabs than you have because I've been installing things longer than you have. Okay, and I've been doing this. So I've got a lot of tabs, I've got a lot of categories. So if your screen looks different from mine, don't panic. You have enough to do what you need to do. So if I just click on drum kit, I will show you the different drum kits that are here.
Okay, so later on we'll bring them in. The next category, the next thing in the library is instruments. Instruments is actually everything the same as sounds. But sounds is sorted by the kind of sound, meaning is it a bass guitar, is it a guitar, is it a string sound, is it a voice. Whereas instruments is sorted by the technology that's being used. Whether it's using FM technology, wavetable technology, analog technology. So seriously, most people don't need this third category called instruments, unless you're a programmer. Okay, like 90% of the X code. That's their problem. If you're not a programmer, then you only need to know about sounds and drums. When you come to audio effects, then you will, which is what we're going to do two lessons from now. So I'm advertising to you, uh, you want to stick around for at least three more lessons. Two lessons from now, you learn audio effects, how to put echoes and stuff. And MIDI effects, how to let the software start to help you play music and help to get you into key and scales without, before you even have mastered music theory, it can help you master scales and chords. Would that be worth learning about? Okay. That's why I said today I'm not actually teaching you music theory, right? All my music teacher friends will be aghast, horrified if I said I was teaching you music theory because I'm not qualified to teach you music theory. Instead, I will teach you how to use music theory in the making your music work. Okay, the rest you don't need now. 